Reducing traffic congestion is a top priority at Washington Policy Center. Why? Because Seattle is the eighth most congested city in America and is on track to match the gridlock of current day Los Angeles within 20 years. For Puget Sound businesses and drivers, traffic congestion has become more than just an inconvenience. I tried commuting uh, along the I-5 over to uh, the Port Orchard area and I found the traffic was absolutely horrendous. It caused me a lot of stress. I just hated it. The Seattle commute has increased in time. Uh, typically it takes me an hour if there's no traffic. On a typical day it would take me almost two hours to get over to Seattle because of the traffic. It's estimated that we motorists spend about 40 hours a year, the equivalent of one full work week, sitting in traffic. Spending this much time in traffic reduces our quality of life, takes time away from our families, has a negative economic impact on the community by reducing productivity and limiting employment opportunities. Yet, reducing congestion is not a priority in Washington State. Some policymakers are hoping to get people out of their cars and into traditional public transit. But building fixed route buses and rail have limitations. For one, they are expensive. Two, they lack flexibility in adapting to changing growth patterns. They have limited inner city travel demand, and they have no impact on reducing existing or future traffic congestion. So what can motorists do for themselves to help reduce their time sitting in traffic? One way is to participate in rideshare programs like van pooling. With 20 public van pool programs across the state, Washington has the largest public fleet in the country. In the Puget Sound region, there are more than 1,700 vans on the road every day carrying about five million passenger trips per year. A van pool must have at least five riders, four passengers and one driver, and can carry up to 15 total passengers. Groups can form by themselves or individuals can find existing van pools to join. Most transit agencies offer rideshare forums and services to connect van pools with users. Van pool groups can travel across county lines and distances can vary between 20 to 150 miles per day depending on the group's origin and destination. And van pools are effective. King County's van pool program alone carries more people than Sound Transit's entire Sounder commuter rail. One person who's a big supporter of van pool is Mark Rogan. Mark lives in Thurston County, Washington and has been using a van pool for nearly 15 years. One major uh, incentive for me is not having to drive the van in the morning and in the afternoon. Because of our long ride, it comes very convenient when we can take turns. I believe that van pooling is one ingredient that can help improve our commuting experience. Mark and his group typically begin their day in the parking lot of the Lacey Walmart store. Soon thereafter, we hit the highway, I-5, going north, and we don't make any stops in between Lacey and Bellevue. Once they arrive in Bellevue, Mark's van pool drops passengers off at two centralized locations close to their final destination. Mark's commute is not unique, as many motorists are finding ways to make van pools work for them. Van pooling provides several benefits to those who use them. Van pool groups gain access to HOV lanes, reduced ferry rates, preferential parking, and free or reduced parking rates, depending on the employer. Some employers also offer monthly compensation directly to their employees who commute with a van pool. By sharing a commute, van poolers also help the environment and help reduce traffic congestion. In 2006, van pools in Washington carried over 6.7 million passenger trips, saved 23.8 million single occupant vehicle miles and 9.5 million gallons of fuel. Puget Sound van pool agencies reported passenger demand grew by 52% between 2000 and 2008. Van pool passenger demand in the first quarter of 2009 grew an astounding 16%, despite the statewide economic downturn. Other mass transit systems actually experienced a slight reduction in ridership during this time frame. Drivers want transportation choices that work for them. Van pooling is more flexible than fixed route mass transit like buses and rail. This flexibility leads to meaningful benefits that are attractive. Users are able to spread the monthly costs of commuting among other passengers and lower their overall commuting expenses. I've been in the van pool for approximately 12 years and uh, 
Um, it's made my commute a heck of a lot easier. I start riding in the van pool because uh, it's a lot easier, quicker. Get uh, places quicker than you could if you were driving your car. On the ferries, you get priority loading compared to uh, driving your car on. Plus all the nice people inside that you ride with every day. and <laughs> Just can't beat it. The benefits of being in a van pool are it's a decreased cost to me. Uh, I get subsidies from the city of Seattle for uh, riding the van pool. I've been riding van pool since 97. So. Uh, and for me, it's, it's the only way to go. I, it cuts down on my commuting costs. For what it cost me for my van pool and ferry rides, I couldn't drive 10 miles with my car, so it doesn't make any sense to drive. Learn more about reducing traffic congestion and the benefits of van pooling at congestionrelief.org.